What's up guys? It's Brandon and Jay. And today we are in a sunken boat. Isn't that dope? What's up guys, it's Brandon and Jay, and today I've got such a freaking cool adventure for you guys. I'm honestly so stoked to do this. As you can tell, we're not in Georgia anymore, guys. We are out in the beautiful state of Florida, and we're gonna be on the ocean today. Now, I have not been on the ocean in a while, but don't worry, I'm not gonna search the great ocean by myself. I do have my girlfriend accompanying me today. I've got Blue Bay, so everything is gonna be A-OK. -okay. So let me go ahead and break down today's objective. Basically, how all this started is I'm in Florida for my mom's birthday, so we've been hanging out, having a good time. We actually took the boat out the other day just relax enjoy it had a great time out there but when we were riding around we actually saw a boat that was halfway submerged it was like a big old sailboat or some type of big boat that is basically crashed into the flats of Florida and it is just sitting there now of course me being the guy that I am I couldn't just admire the boat from afar I really wanted to get in there dive around see if I could see anything that may have been lost in the boat I don't know shipwrecks just honestly amaze me so today we're gonna be taking the jet ski out to the boat that we saw the other day and I'm I'm just gonna explore it. Whatever was lost in there, whatever was left in there, I'm gonna try to find it today and basically just scavenge this boat wreck. Are you freaking kidding me? I literally had to take my jet ski like 10 miles that way and I just saw something. I wanna show you guys. So here I am about to make a journey out into the middle of the dang ocean where literally did not have to leave the boat ramp and there's the sunken sailboat right behind me. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? All right, well, I guess that is now two boats that I can explore. If you guys want to see me explore that one, not really sure if I can dive in it because like I'm in the marina, but if you guys want to see it, let me know in the comment section below. Maybe I can do it on the next video. We're going to hop on Blue Bay. We're going to go out to the middle of the dang ocean and we're going to explore a sunken ship. Let's get to it. It looks like we have a storm moving in back there. That might give us a little bit of problems later, but, uh, the ship is over here, so I gotta stay in the channel markers. There's a bunch of like shallow areas with a bunch of oyster bars over here. So I'm gonna stay between these markers and uh, make the way to the ship. It'll be a good time though. It's right over here. Oh, that is so freaking dope. Oh, you guys gotta see this, look at this. Wow, that is dope. It's so beautiful out too. The sun is up, the water's clear. Look at that boat, man. That is really cool. I'm gonna kind of cruise around, show you guys a little bit of the boat. Maybe uh, check out some features on it, but we're gonna hop in the water here soon and check it out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I don't know if you could see him. Oh my gosh. He kind of went into my bubbles. I don't know if he came from the flat or I scared him out of the wreck and then he just turned around and went right back in, but that was a giant snook. Like that was like a really, really big snook. All right, well, like I was just trying to do, I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of the boat now. We're just gonna kind of circle it. So there's like the back back there. Looks like we might be able to walk in over there. We got the top, it says DJ Dave, DJ Dave. Got the front there. This is pretty big, man. Oh my gosh. Oh, they're snook under the front. They're snook right there under the front. It says, Riley, can I see you at prom? That honestly is so dope. Like imagine taking your date out here just on the water, just like enjoying a nice day. And then like, oh babe, look at that shipwreck. Let's go over there. And then all of a sudden your girl sees it and you're asking her to prom on the boat. That's actually really dope. So here's the back of the boat here. It's got like big rudder on the tail. Looks like it was called the Miss Liberty. That's what the name was up there. And then there's kind of like a deep hole right there. That'll be kind of cool to explore. Well, guys, I guess it is time for me to go in the water and check it out. I see some really big snook up here by the nose, but by the back there's like a big rudder and there's a really dark spot. And I guess that there's gonna be like a fish. There may be even like a big grouper hanging out on this flat. What's so cool about this is not only is this a shipwreck, but this is like an artificial reef for so many fish. It's got its like own little ecosystem in there. I'm sure when I hop in the water, it's just gonna be teeming full of life. With that being said, I'm gonna throw the anchor off, get this thing secured, and uh, we're gonna hop in the water and check that thing out. It's tied off, secured. I'm gonna take my bag, get it actually on the, uh, on the boat there, and then we're gonna see what's under this thing. Hopefully we can see some of those giant snook and uh, man, this water is just so beautiful. Let's go ahead and get down there.
have to be pretty careful on what I can and can't step on. There's a lot of rust and a lot of broken stuff here. That first look was so insane. I'm currently on the ship right now. I just had to find a place to put my bag. <sighs> what was that noise? <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, man. That first little dive down was so insane. There's just so much life. Just as I expected, man, like right under this, there's like an edge. This is like where the side of the boat is into the water. And there's an edge and there's thousands, literally thousands of mangrove snapper just going all through there. Just, it is so crazy. I'm still gonna search this little back end. And then we're gonna go to the front and see if we can see those snook. After like we check out what's under the water, I do wanna potentially hop in this cabin right here. It's only if I find it safe enough to do so. This is not a structurally sound boat at this point anymore. I mean, it could roll or tip at any point in time. So I'm gonna be very careful as I maneuver around. But with that being said, let's hop in the water and freaking check out these fish. All right, let's check out this little back cabin right here and then we're gonna go to the very front. Let's check this one out first. Oh, watch out for all the rust, oh gosh. I'm gonna go around and we're gonna search the front of the boat over this way. That was the snook I was talking about guys. He was just hanging out under there with me. There's also big sheephead. It's like the black and white fish. And then there's hundreds and hundreds of mango snapper. Oh, we got another jet skier. <laughs> he probably thinks I'm crazy. Oh, there's two of them. What's up, buddy? <laughs> that was really loud thunder. All right. Mother Nature, I will be like 10 minutes. Give me 10 minutes and I promise I'll go home. I won't hang out on your boat no more. I won't be in your ocean. The underwater stuff was really cool, but now it's time for the good news or the bad news. Uh, we'll start with the good news first. Good news is I'm on the boat. I am here, I have made it. Bad news is, oh wow, there's there's like some really big mullet swimming by. All right, bad news is I have broken a lot of stuff. So I had to climb up from there, but then I started stepping on these and this whole thing just freaking broke. I ripped up my leg a little bit. I am, wow, there's fish by my feet. I am really pushing my luck right now. Uh, you guys couldn't see me getting in to this whole thing just because uh, everything freaking broke that I was standing on. So I ripped up my other legs and I have two ripped up legs, uh, but now I am in the boat. The thunderstorm is actually headed this way, uh, but I want to show you guys this a little bit. So I'm currently standing on two little cushions. Uh, there's like a little port window and I've actually been seeing fish come in and out of there uh, and like on the ground. Look, 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 there's fish down there. I don't know if you guys can see them. Look, see them? Oh my gosh, isn't that so cool? Those are like little mangrove snapper that are just kind of like hanging out under the boat. Those are the ones I was swimming with earlier. But I'm staying on two cushions because I don't trust anything in here. There's like some weird stuff in here. Um, I don't know how far I can get to it. Is that a freaking TV? Holy crap, that's a TV. Look at this. That black thing floating right there, that's a TV. I don't know if I can make my way over there, but I'll try. This always feels like the Titanic to me. It's just so weird being on something that is completely sideways when it's supposed to be walked the other way. That is a giant crab. Oh my gosh, that's freaking me out a little bit. Oh, there's a crab on that too. It's a freaking shoe. It has a little crab on it. Ah, ah, okay, okay, okay. Oh my gosh. Let's see, stepping on whatever that is. Look at the crab by my foot. Oh gosh, look at him. You see him? Holy crap. Hello, Mr. Crab, could you please 
Could you please move? I'm trying to, oh gosh, I hate crabs. Oh God, I'm gonna need this. You guys aren't gonna freaking believe this. Oh my gosh. So I know some of you guys might be like, Brandon, you way overhyped this item, but I just think it's very, very ironic and funny. I found a freaking roller skate <laughs> in this ship, which is really funny. One, because it's sunken, but two, because who the heck is roller skating on the ocean? Nobody. Unless they were like roller skating around the top of this boat, which could have been dope. But either way, that's, that's pretty funny. I would have never expected to find that. The three stripes on it right there, that's an Adidas jacket, which is really nice. Oh no, okay. I don't know how much further we can go, guys. I'm currently going to more of the front of the boat, however, uh, my feet are starting to sink into the bottom and you know, I'm currently walking on something that's not supported by ground. So honestly, my weight could potentially roll this thing. Let's see what life is like out here. It's a lot nicer out here than in there. I can like breathe out here. Oh, I got a couple of cuts on my legs from like trying to get into this thing earlier. The salt water is just freaking eating those up. I think we're almost done searching this thing. Oh, let's, let's get back in here. Back, back into my boat we go. To be honest, we don't have much left. We've only got, I mean, we've covered probably a little less than half, but all that stuff up there is not even navigable. Navigatable. I can't go in, that's what I'm trying to say. That right there, that's a little iron for people that wanted to iron their clothes. It's kind of funny. There's even like uh, little windows that point straight up into the sky that normally would point out to the sea. Oh no. Oh no, that moved. Oh no, oh gosh. All right, I'm stepping on another battery. That's not good. There's a lot happening right now. Oh my gosh, what can I grab onto? All right, holy crap. I think we are done freaking exploring this boat. I'm gonna put my camera in the waterproof bag, get back to the jet ski because this is like the worst part is trying to get out of this thing. And uh, we're gonna probably wrap up the video. Oh my gosh, that sucks every time. That is so bad. The camera bag first. All right, now my turn. Just real easy jump here. Oh, there we go. Oh, bye ship. It was fun. <laughs> bye guys. All right. We are back. We are back. All right, guys. Well, that is it. We freaking made it back to Blue Bay. We made it all the way out to this boat. We searched the boat. I ripped up both of my legs. We got to see a snook. We got to see a bunch of beautiful fish under that boat. It was a jam-packed day. Also, didn't even get stormed on by the giant thunderstorm that was rolling through. It actually went a little bit west. So uh, I said west. I honestly don't know what direction it is, but I always thought it was cool when people are like, it went west or went north. I honestly have no direction of where I am at all, but uh, I'd say that was probably west. But on a real note, since it is such a beautiful day outside still, I think I'm just gonna ride around and just enjoy this day, man. There's not a lot of times I bring the jet ski out on the salt water. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm just gonna go explore some of the flats, maybe find another boat. So if you guys like what I did today and you wanna see more, let me know in the comment section below or just leave a giant thumbs up. If I see there's a bunch of support, you guys wanna see more sketchy boats like this, I'll be sure to find the sketchiest one and go inside just as I always do, risking my life for the entertainment of you guys. Also, we are closing in on 900,000 subscribers. And then next up, we're hitting a freaking million, baby. This is gonna be so unreal. So if you guys wanna join the family, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not already. If you are subscribed, make sure you turn those post notifications on so you'll be notified every time I go into some crazy boat, go underwater and find some crazy treasure, and basically you won't miss out on any of my next adventures. With that being said, it is time for me to get old Blue Bay out and enjoy the day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you did enjoy. And as always, I will catch you on the next adventure. Peace out. Hey mom. Hey, what's up? Yeah, hey, I just wanted to let you know I survived the boat wreck. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'm just gonna probably ride around for a little bit and I'll be home later. Okay, sweetie. All right, I love you. All right, love you too. Bye. 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 She was worried about me, so I thought I'd Alright, now let's go get in that water, brother!